What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials and pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. Now today we're going to be looking at the pages view inside Studio One. This is um, something that's, that seems pretty straightforward, but it's pretty powerful as well. The first page that you land on is called your start page, and you have quite a few options within here. Um, the first thing that you can that that pops up is you have access to your recent files that you've worked on. You have access to your entire songs folder um within within studio one then you have access to your projects now um from here you can go ahead and create a new song create a new project or open a, an existing document on top of that you can also do do the same thing here if you for example if you click on song it'll bring you up to your um, songs you have the existing styles and templates that presonus has designed for you um, you have your different um, your different interfaces that are manufactured by presonus and then you have your user um, templates which to me is the most powerful uh, everything I do, I create a template so so you can um you know just get around the doll a little bit faster. Now another it uh, another thing with the um with the start page that I see that, that that I don't see a lot of people take advantage of is connecting with SoundCloud. This is just super powerful because it allows you to connect this with your existing SoundCloud. It makes it super easy to set up. Um you just go ahead and then boom here's your SoundCloud right here it tells you what you got going on um, your recent activity and when you connect studio one with your SoundCloud it gives you the option when you bounce a track to automatically upload it to SoundCloud which is really which is really powerful because if you're like, like if you're like on a kick where you want to release 30 beats in 30 days or something like that this this just adds um, an extra um, an extra function to make that as simple as possible. Also, um, you have the Presonus news feed when you're connected online, and it'll give you like every Friday they'll drop a they'll drop a, a different little blog tip. You can um, you can have access to whatever new products they're dropping in the store, um, and just the different little news and tidbits. Then they also have the demos and tutorials tab, which is not populated with anything right now. So for your demos and tutorial needs, hit up studio one tutorialscom and the Craftmaster YouTube page. Um, also, if you have multiple interfaces, you can you can go ahead and select um, which interface you want to use, um, depending depending on what you have. A lot of you are just going to have one interface, but it, you know if you're into um, uh, streaming and doing your own videos, you'll probably have something like Soundflower or um, Voice Meter if you were on Windows. So you can go ahead and select that um, from here. I tip it when I'm not streaming. I I just use the um, Presonus 192 mobile because it gives me an extra set of uh, controls and parameters inside the mix window, which allows me to switch between my two monitors and stuff. It's super handy. Also, this is um. Uh, don't sleep this is um, this will bring up your preferences as well so you know you could go in if there's anything you want to change you go ahead and do that if you want to add a new for example a practical explanation would be if you bought a new MIDI controller or a new control surface or something you can set it up here without having to um, open a session if you didn't want to another great thing that it allows you to do is check for updates so you can see if you are current and up to date which is really good and typically if if presonus has an update it will you know it alerts you it'll alert you up here and you can just click and it'll go ahead and take care of that for you um, again, these are the, the you click these and they will just they'll bring up your preferences. So pretty much you click this one, this one, this one. Um, the about tab will tell you you know what your license to what your what your uh, what your product key is. It'll bring up if you uh, if you've installed Melodyne, it'll bring up your Melodyne key, all that good stuff. Um, what else do we got here? 
Now, another good thing about these uh, uh, um, about the about the pages menu is, for example, if you have if you have a couple songs open up, so say I um, and I was surprised that that uh, that that people didn't really people didn't really notice this, but if you say I have this project or this song opened up, right, and I had. I can go I can go back to the start menu right open up another song and you can switch in between the two songs just by just by going through this this menu up here which is really nice for example if you're using something like um, if you're using something like our arrangement arsenal product and you wanted to say create a song and you you wanted to go back and forth between you know between looking at at the arrangements we've we've put together or even better you can take you can take this uh this midi and copy it and this works you know this works for any type of file um it doesn't necessarily have to be something out of arrangement arsenal um drop this select a uh you know select an instrument track command you know go ahead and drop it in and now you have you know you have our you have our arrangement tools to kind of guide you along as you create in your song so some really some really simple overlooked but very powerful features within the within the menus and within uh you know with it within these three pages um of course project will open you click that it'll open up a new project and uh this is this is studio one's um, mastering layout so if you're you know if you're if you're into mastering a project you could go ahead and bring all the individual tracks into here um you know you have you have your left meter you have your lu meter so you can get a gauge on your loudness and work within the parameters of this window and again to 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 navigate in between these different open projects super simple super easy simple and to the point so this is cmp with craftmaster production studio one tutorials.com keep it simple don't be basic and we will see you on the next one